Well, <laughs> it's here. It's time. <laughs> I have been promising this playthrough for months and months and months, and um, it's, it's here. It's here. I'm excited for it. I am also terrified of it, but it is here. We are playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, finally. This will of course be my very first time playing Sekiro. Oh. Oh, voiceover. Wow, so gorgeous. Ashina, okay. Oh my gosh, brutal, dude. Careful! Oh! Ouch! Oh man. This is so different. To FromSoft's usual openings. But this game is so different to from shop from soft's usual game. From shot. From shot shot from crushed. This is so beautiful, dude. If we ignore all of the <laughs> slaughter going on. That guy is huge, by the way. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. You can do it, little man. I believe in you. Is he little or is the guy big? I think the guy's probably big, huh? Yeah. Are we rooting for him? I don't know. <laughs> do we even care about this dude? Is this just set dressing? Okay. Good thing? Bad thing? Oh. I don't think we like Ishin Ashina. I mean, I know very, very little about this game. But, um, I've heard of an Ishin. <laughs> I think that was probably bad. Oh, is that us? Is that baby us? Oh, 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 oh. Ouch. Oh, we didn't even react, dude. Stray. You look cool. Don't grab the sword, it's sharp. Okay. I don't think I have a choice. Oh, we're talking. Nice. Oh. I won't. <laughs> That's a big hand, dude. That hand was massive. Oh, that dude is massive. Okay, we got a master. We got to protect him. Sounds good. I do understand you. Yeah, there's this thing in FromSoft games where the protagonist is always tiny <laughs> for some reason. It's very funny. Okay. Sounds bad. That's us. Oh. Big man died. And the... Is that the master that we were sworn to protect? The boy? Ooh, that's an umbrella. This is a very, very narratively focused beginning to a FromSoft game. I'm kind of surprised. Oh, it's a lady. Is this the lady? The FromSoft lady? It's always in these games. <laughs> I will. Oh, it's gonna get wet. We should get that ASAP. It's gonna be illegible soon. What is that? Oh, it's a it's a little petal, flower petal, or a or a cherry blossom petal or something. Oh, what are we good? We're rotting. Maybe we're just moldy. 
We are handsome, though. Look at our face. So yeah, this is a FromSoft game with a story, it seems like, and a um, actual, like, set in stone main character, as opposed to, like, a character creator. That's cool. Who are you? Pick up item with square. Ornamental letter. A letter thrown into a well. Kuro's Wolf, your destiny awaits you at the Moonview Tower. Escape from the well and find the tower bathed in moonlight. Even without a blade, you can reach it. Stay silent, stay vigilant. Okay. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about my experience with... Oh, look, there's a jump button. I'll talk a little bit about my experience with FromSoft games in the past, so you guys kind of have an idea of where I'm coming from. Um, I have played Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne. It's one of my... Can we swim? We can swim. It's one of my favorite games. Um, I haven't actually fully finished it, <laughs> but I do know everything about it. Um, I really, really like Bloodborne, and it is my favorite FromSoft game by far. I also played Dark Souls, and I really love the first... What is happening? What are we doing here? Hello? This, like, belly flop we do out of the water is so funny. <laughs> How are we doing that? Maybe this isn't the way. Yeah, I played Dark Souls, and I love the first half of Dark Souls, everything up to, you know, Anne Orlando ONS and stuff like that. I think the second half of Dark Souls is a bit of a drag. I've only ever um, replayed the first half. I don't really care about doing the rest. Um, but I am interested in actually playing some Dark Souls on the channel. Oh, we can jump. Okay, it's this way we have to go, I guess. Oh, there were stairs I could have climbed. Whatever. Maybe not. How do I... Oh, we can double- we can double jump Ashina Reservoir. We can double jump off of walls and stuff. Oh! Sorry. Let there not be light, am I right? I wanna go get that item we saw. Is it gonna be backwards, do you think? Yeah, it's definitely gonna be here. Or, no, wait, is that where we started? Well, maybe we have to come back later somehow. Because I think this is the pit we just were in. Yeah, okay, let's move forward. I also played Elden Ring, and I know that this might be a bit of a hot take. I wasn't a huge fan of Elden Ring. I absolutely thought it was like a gorgeous game, and I thought most of the overworld up to um, up to uh, uh, Altus Plateau was phenomenal. But um, I wasn't a huge fan of... What am I doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> First death on the record, baby! An environmental kill, hell yeah! <laughs> No, no, no. I did like Elden Ring. I just thought the boss battles were a little, um, um, over-designed. Not over-designed. Uh, they're just a little much. I don't know. Don't kill me. But, um, I have been recommended Sekiro a lot because people say that, oh, you like Bloodborne so much, you'll love Sekiro. Like, those are the most similar ones. I've, I know that this game has, what is this, like, wind stuff that I do? I'm so confused. I know that Sekiro has a very heavy um, parry gameplay, which I love in games. Use stealth to avoid enemies and head to the Moonview Tower. If you're about to be seen, warning markers appear above enemies' heads. So typical stealth kind of stuff. He's unarmed. He completely lost his will to live. Oh, I see. They didn't even care about restraining us then. There's a dude up there. Oh, he can eavesdrop. Okay, moon, moon view towers are where we're going. Divine air. Is that our master? Genichiro. That's a bad guy, for sure. The way we were holding our hand up to our ear, we were like blocking all the sound coming from above. <laughs> we should have been holding it the other way. So is that moon view? It's not much of a tower. It's like two stories tall. I can't really see any other place to go. So yeah, Sekiro has some stealth mechanics. My favorite video game series of all time is um, Dishonored, so that's completely up my alley. It also has a parry mechanic. I freaking love a good parry in a video game. And I've also he heard that this game is hard as balls. <laughs> Harder than any other FromSoft game, which terrifies me. Um, in my experience, I haven't had the like most 
like incredible trouble with FromSoft games in the past. That's not a, me bragging. It's just you know, these games tend to favor some, you know, some kinds of of gameplay. You know, it's just up my alley, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I definitely have not had an easy time with any of them. Um, so I'm really nervous for this. Is this our, our, our kid, our boy, our master? Ooh, fashionable haircut. Does he also have silver hair like we do? Thank you. Has it? Sorry, I was in a well. Feeling sad about my life. Well then. Okay. Is that our sword? <gasps> sword, sword. Kusabimaru. What does that mean? Someone tell me what that means. Is this game going to be like a really long um, escort mission? <laughs> the entire time we play it, there's just a little kid following us around. That would be so funny and so against FromSoft's usual, uh, the usual stuff they do. They hate having NPCs move. A katana given by Kuro, the divine heir. Oh, he's Kuro. Okay. An heirloom of the Hirata family, a cadet branch descended from Ashina. Once thought lost, it has found its way back in the hands of the wolf. The name Kusabimaru beseeches a shinobi's role is to kill, but even a shinobi must not forget mercy. A mantra the blade itself may manifest. Okay, well, you don't need to tell me what it means anymore because I know. Ha, huh. take that. So, Homeward Idol, a small palm-sized wooden Buddha, can be used repeatedly. Held by the wolf ever since he was saved by his father, its corners are rounded with use. This Buddha is used to return home. It will return the user to the last visited sculptor's idol or dilapidated temple. Oh, so it's like a permanent Homeward Bone? That's interesting. That's really interesting. Okay. Kusabimaru, uh, we just read that ornamental letter. Oh, we also just... even with, Yeah, we did read that. Okay. Never mind. We already got the... Uh, the descriptions okay uh well we'll talk to kuro again hello okay oh sorry i accidentally skipped my bad uh healing gourd a gourd filled with vitality restoring medicine resting refills the gourd made by an apprentice of the extraordinary dr dogen Though it's strange that the guard, the gourd's medicinal waters refill automatically, the seeds within may hold the secret of how it works. Okay, healing item. After we. Oh, we lost our memory. Convenient. Don't promise things in games like this, or you're going to die before you can tell it to us. He's actually moving his mouth. Okay. okay, so we have a... Uh, you can cycle through various quick items and use each according to the situation. For instance, if you have taken damage, you can recover vitality with the healing gourd. Uh, use quick item cycle. Oh, okay, so healing is on the D-pad in this game. That is going to take some getting freaking used to. Can we do it now? No, we have to equip it, Shio, obviously. There we go. Now can I do it? Oh, it's a single use, and it heals like 3 HP. Great. I love the beginning of these games. <laughs> Anything else you want to say, Kuro? Beneath the moat bridge. Okay. 
Okay, so we gotta go find Thing and then signal him. He didn't give us a reed whistle, so I think that's something we just make out of grass. I've seen that before. Pick up item. Pellet. Medicinal pellets that slowly restore vitality. So, me, uh, healing, big boy healing, regular healing, and then um, finite healing. I'm guessing the healing gourd restores upon death and upon respawn, but I honestly don't know, so. <laughs> so let's hope is basically what I'm saying. Okay, combat time. 20 minutes into the episode and we're finally fighting. Okay, where's my... I want to be able to guard, though. I thought that was the whole point of this game. <laughs> well, maybe these people won't attack. Whoops. Oh. Jesus, that was a lot of blood. <laughs> um, okay, there's a... there's a dodge? Okay. That is so much blood. Um, okay, well, I have... I've figured it out on my own. This is a... This is the dance of my people. Um, I've I figured out the block on my own. Cool. Um, maybe we'll get a tutorial about it. Because I think the way this game works is that you block and that breaks posture as opposed to, like it's more effective than attacking to break posture. That would be my guess at least. I also know that this game is often criticized for having incredibly easy common enemies and the bosses being like the only real challenge. Um, but knowing me, Every enemy is gonna kick my ass a hundred times. Okay, let's let's deflect some stuff. Oh, that worked. Oh, there's there's I don't know. Oh, did I die? No, I didn't die. What? Okay. Well, I I I did block that, but then I pressed the wrong button afterwards. So, okay, you do it too. Whoops. What is that bar on the bottom? Is that my posture? Oh, I died. <laughs> Well, anyway, that is the second death. Um, as the title says, uh, Shadows Die Twice, so that will be the end of the playthrough. Goodbye. I'm joking, obviously. Okay, Kuro, you didn't see that. Uh, please don't think less of me. I am still your capable and powerful shinobi protector. Is this gonna happen every time we kill an enemy? We're gonna get like a crazy... Oh, this guy was right here. I didn't see him. My bad. Okay, I imagine enemies will get a little bit more complicated than this going forward, but we'll see, I guess. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So, I still don't know what that bar on the bottom of the screen is, but... Oops. We came from up here, right? Should we go back and, uh, and uh, fight these guys that we saw up here? Because there were guys. I'm sure of it. Bye! Swift Dispatch. There was a, a guy in here as well, right? I remember seeing him. Um, I don't want to go back across there, so let's just continue. <laughs> no, there was definitely someone in that building, but... Oh, it looks like maybe we can get... Aha! Oh, never mind. Can we go up here? And get in the building this way? No, this is the way we were earlier. Um, are you still in here? No, it doesn't look like there's anyone anymore. Okay. We're going underneath a bridge to find a secret passage out of Ashina Castle. Is there a sprint? It doesn't seem like there's a sprint. Oh, no, there is a sprint. Oh, there's, there's enemies here. <laughs> Should not have been sprinting, it turns out. Hit me! Oh my god. That was terrible. So, the bottom, that's my posture, I guess? Stop. I'm taking a lot of damage, Using quick items. Yeah, I, you just told me how to do that, dude. I guess it's trying to tell me to heal, which I was planning on anyway. Oh, this one has a... Is this a boss? Leader... Sh uh, uh, we've been doing that. Is that the same... Whatever. Is this a boss? <laughs> um. Oh my god, dude. I don't think that was a perfect deflect. Whoops. That was bad. That was really terrible. Or is this? What are those red dots? Okay. Oh, 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 oh. 
Death blow against strong enemies. Some powerful opponents require multiple death blows to be killed. Thanks for answering my question. <laughs> okay, I am not perfectly deflecting any of these attacks. <laughs> is that a perfect? Is the red? Is that? Does that mean it's perfect? I really can't tell. <laughs> Bye. Medicinal pellets that slowly... We already got this message. I guess it's because I died. Do they want me to use one? I guess they want me to use one, huh? Um, or is it because I just got one? I don't really know. <laughs> Hello? Okay, we can open that. Let's look around first, because there's probably going to be enemies back there. Hello? Who are you? Oh, this is like a way to go. Do you think there's going to be like... Do you think this big door... How do I run again? Here. Do you think this big door is, like, the combat route? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> That's probably a shortcut. I'm assuming this game's environments are designed in a similar way to Dark Souls, um, with the interconnectedness of the world that FromSoft is famous for, but I also have no idea, so... <laughs> no clue. Don't know anything about this game except for, like, two bosses. I know there's a big monkey at some point. Um... And that's it. Literally, that's it. <laughs> this is probably the... Ooh. Wall jump. And then... Yeah. I got you. Ooh, eavesdrop. Yeah, that's where I'm going. Uh-oh. They're on to us. Yep. That's bad news. Bad news for us. Um, the fuck is that thing? Is that like a fucked up bird? Or... Or what am I looking at? What are you? Oh, you're a man. No, you're not a man. I don't know what you are. You're a little... <laughs> oh, 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 I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, little... Oh, I don't know what you are, but I don't want to be near your body for very long. Thank you. Goodbye. Ledge hang. Okay, so... Um, this is not regular Japan. <laughs> this is a Japan with, with little guys in it, turns out. Item. Oh, more pellets. Thank you. Are you going to give me that message every time I pick one up? Uh, okay. Jump down here. We are going beneath the bridge, I guess, so that makes sense. This is a really long drop. Is there fall damage? I can't tell. I wasn't really looking at my health bar. Um, there's an uppy. We can go over there. Is this, is this the secret passage? This appears to be the escape route. Call the divine air. No, not yet. I want to explore the down here-ness of it all. Wait, but there's no way to get back up, right? What is this thing? Oh, we're definitely gonna get a fucking grappling hook or something to use on that. Okay, well, I guess we'll go explore and then we'll make our, whoa, whoa, oh my God, it's a lizard. I didn't see you at all, Mr. Lizard. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Why am I so scared of these lizards? I don't think they can really... Oh, I don't think that was necessary, Mr. Shinobu. Oh, that poison. Be honest with me, y'all. I don't want any spoilers or anything for this game. You can give me general advice and tips, but I don't want spoilers. But you can spoil one thing for me, because I, I just need to know. Is there a poison swamp in this game? Because <laughs> if there is, that is truly a, a very depressing reality. What am I doing? Um, but yeah, please no spoilers. Um, there's nothing worse than playing one of these games and, like, having things spoiled for you. Because so much of the fun of these is, um, it's just experiencing things and adapting to everything that gets thrown your way. What am I doing? Can I go up there? Oh, I can. Okay. But I can't go up there. Can I? Oh, I can hug the wall. Okay. Gotta get used to this wall hugging mechanic. <laughs> this is not... Uh, from soft staple this is like an uncharted thing mainly <laughs> um so it'll take some time to adjust myself to that yeah look we're definitely gonna be able to grapple onto those um trunks get fucked bucket okay that seems to be about it let's call kuro uh yes thank you very much oh yeah, it's a little bit of glass. Grass, pardon. I've seen that before. 
How did you get here so quickly? Young man, I think you should put some shoes on. It cannot be comfortable to walk in a place like this or do everything we just did without shoes. This kid kind of reminds me of Haku from Spirited Away with the hairstyle. Does he turn into a big dragon too? Well, this isn't creepy at all. <laughs> Definitely a good sign. Oh, hello. Somewhere safe. Sounds good. I think we should run. Oh. Okay, is he gonna come with us? Oh, he is, look at that. Yeah, FromSoft NPCs don't usually move. <laughs> Even in Elden Ring, they don't really move unless they're fighting. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, if it isn't a boss, for sure, 100%. Um, and given that I have no rest point, whatever they may be in this game, and no health, I'm assuming this is a mandatory death boss. Just judging from, you know, video games <laughs> and how they typically operate. Maybe we can just sneak around it. I don't even know what it is. It's so scary looking. Oh God, oh God. Kuro, I'm sorry, but you might die. <laughs> I said it before. You promised to tell us something and you didn't, which means that you're gonna die and this might be it. Oh, he's handsome too. Oh, okay. Genichiro. Let me handle this kid. I'm gonna fucking embarrass myself in a second. That armor on his arm is so interesting. You don't need to thank me, bud. I'm your sworn protector or whatever. I don't really know why, but I am. Oh my god. Um, again, I'm still assuming this is a mandatory death given the nature of this encounter. But if it's not, put your bets in the comments now for how many <laughs> tries it's going to take me. I definitely do not feel prepared for a boss. Let's say that much. Jesus. Oh. Oh. What is that? What does that mean? Oh. I almost died. I don't even want to use a healing item and waste it because... Jesus. Okay, we're one hit away. Well... <laughs> oh! Oh. Well... I mean, that's not ideal. For a swordsman. But, um... Well, at least we know it was scripted. <laughs> at least we know it was scripted. Yeah, I agree. That was pathetic. <laughs> oh my god, I'm absolutely loving this, like, moody narrative. Oh, what the f- are you- is that a mask or a, or a face? That's so scary. I'm loving this, like, moody narrative of the game. I'm loving these cinematic cutscenes. This fight was already so pretty. It's the first fight in the game and it's like gorgeous. Um, yeah, this is really cool. This has got me immediately hooked in this game. Super interesting. Okay, so we lost our our little our little son. Is he our son? I don't think he's our son. Um, our little adopted son. Um, but we'll get him back. I'm sure of it. Is that the point of the game? You get our, our little buddy back? Haku? What's his name? Kuro. That means black in Japanese, right? It's like Kuro and Shiro are black and white. Or like, um, um, fuck, what's the little bear in, um, in, 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 in Danganronpa called? Oh, it's Monokuma. Wait, that's not, sorry. I thought it was, had Kuro in the name. What does Monokuma mean? Someone tell me. 
Oh, we got a doll hand. Oh, it's got like bones in it. Oh, there's a big man. <gasps> What's that in the back? Those are so scary. Are those statues are real things? Real living things? Oh, okay. Shinobi prosthetic, an artificial arm of a shinobi passed down by the sculptor. A replica arm fitted with a variety of mechanisms apparently designed with modification in mind. While it bears a number of cuts and is stained thick with blood and oil, it has been impeccably maintained. That's nice. Ooh. Hello? Oh, are these the remnants? I'm playing offline, by the way. I don't pay for console online membership or whatever because I, I don't play that many online games. Uh, tell me if it's that big of a deal. Um, I'm willing to do it for a month or two if it matters, but I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. Who are you? No, it doesn't look terrifying like the ones you make. The true sculptor. It's like giblets and blood and stuff. Oh, you mean like spiritually? <laughs> Okay, so he's a sculptor. He sculpts, sculpts, sculpt. What are they called? Sculptures. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I couldn't even say that. Touch remnant. Remnant six seconds. What? Twenty-eight seconds. Huh? But these aren't left by people. So why do they feel like shit posts? Because <laughs> they're not online. So these are in the game, or maybe they're not. Do I? Have, do I have PSN? I did, there's no way I have PSN, right? Hello, Sculptor. Shinobi? No. What do I call myself? Oh, the wolf, yeah. Okami. That's what wolf is. I just heard him say it. I know that from Overwatch. <laughs> Must you carve the Buddha? You've done it quite a few times already. Uh, ask how you got here. Ask about your new left arm. I'll, can I do both? I'd rather know about how I got here. I got a tooltip about the arm already. Oh, you dragged me here. Well, that's kind of you. 16 years. No. <laughs> How much time? Let's look at this guy, can we? <gasps> Kuro! My boy! Oh, not again. <laughs> I just got him out from there. What does that mean? Use of his bloodline? You appreciated the value it had. Is that why our hair is is silver because we used whatever his bloodline is do you think his bloodline is what's keeping us from dying maybe um oh look we can ask let's do it please tell me a dragon he is a dragon <gasps> haku <laughs> i told you yeah, okay. He like defies. Okay. It sounds like he's got magic blood and people want it. So he's probably going to get killed and drained. So <laughs> let's go find him. Uh, ask about my arm. What do you mean, what did I do to me? He gave you a new arm, dude. Be grateful. A fitting fang for a one-armed wolf is such a raw line. <laughs> Is that 
わしのところに持ってくるがいい。忍具だと。Shinobi tools, okay. そうか。このからくり。さしない。Shinobi tools. Okay, upgrades. So, we, is this where our <laughs> inevitable grappling hook is going to come from? I already appreciate its worth. It's an arm, and I didn't have one before. <laughs> it's very helpful. Thank you. Okay, that seems like it's it. You know what I just. Oh! Ooh, NPCs! Is this our. Is this our HQ, our base of operations? Clearing to the right of the gate. Okay. I think we will. What's up here? This is definitely not a place the game would put these. So maybe I do have PSN. That's surprising to me. You know what I just realized? I don't know if this is intentional, if they're both um, derived from the same, like, story originally. But, or maybe remnants are where people died. Not messages? Whatever. Um, this is very similar to Dororo, the anime. Do Dororo? You know the one I'm talking about? There's, like, the main dude is, like, a puppet guy. His name is Hyakimaru. And he's got pr a prosthetic arm and other bits he's very puppety and um he's protecting a little boy well <laughs> yeah he's protecting dororo who's like a little kid and um and yeah he's like a puppet man protecting a little kid with a prosthetic arm that's very similar is there like a japanese story or something that both of them are based off of or is this based off of dororo because it's like so similar note a network connection is required to leave remnants to leave them, but to not see them? Oh, why did I take my sword out? Oh, is this a um, commune with Sculptor's Idol? It is really quite cool, actually. Kind of looks like something out of Bloodborne more than anything. Is this a save point? Yeah, this looks like a save point. Hell yeah, okay. Nice and bright, so we know where to look. <laughs> Resting at a Sculptor's Idol will completely replenish vitality and restore one use of resurrection. One use of what? We- oh, shadows die twice? Do we have to die twice in order to die? That's interesting. Okay, what are all- what's all that shit? Prayer beads? Memory? I don't freaking know. Is there leveling up in this game? Or is it more of like an upgrade sort of system? I don't know. Sounds like we have an- whoa, what the hell, dude? That was crazy. Sounds like we have some sort- what is unseen aid? What does any of this mean? Sorry. Sounds like we have some sort of revival mechanic. Um, but there's a woman. Oh, are you the woman from before? Hello? I want to see. I want to see you before I talk to you. Wow, oh, you're so blurry. The depth of field is so shallow. You're. I like your hair. You got Mickey Mouse ears. I'm kidding. Okay. Are you the woman? Are you gonna level us up? I did. Power of the dragons, but I knew it! My question. Emma? What's this white lady doing here? Okay. Cryptic? Look at the way the bamboo in the back sways. It's so nice. Who is your master? <gasps> yes, I do possess that. Oh! Well, thanks. You'll present- yeah, let's present the healing cord. Um, for Kuro. He did. It's mine now. My precious Gatorade. Fancy. Sweet. Yes, it heals for pitiful amounts. 
Gourd seeds. Okay. Those are going to be hard to find. Pretty small. Gotcha. I'll keep my, my eye out. Oh, I have a gourd seed? No. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> got my hopes up and immediately squashed them. Well, we'll talk to Emma. Yeah, tell me. You can see it. It's right here. Oh. No, I'm moldy. あるいは日差しか。The um, boy may be moldy. もう良いか。ああ、十分です。ブレをしました。すみません。That's all right. Oh, should we keep talking to her? Is she gonna say more? I forgot that this is this is what you gotta do in these games. <laughs> Talk. No. No, okay, good. Later. Later. Leave me alone later. Okay, I already see three ways to go. Is is this the person Sculptor was talking about? I don't think so. He said to the... I don't remember what he said. We're just gonna look around. Ooh, thank you. Okay, this looks like a dead end, which is nice. I still don't... Oh, view remnant. So these are... These are... It's me. Yeah, these are other players, I guess. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a man there. I didn't even see him. Hello? Oh, there's another thing. Let's do this first. Inspect offering box. Items that become unavailable elsewhere end up in the offering box. When the box is illuminated, it means an item has found its way inside. Items can be obtained by inspecting the box and offering money. Oh, that's cool. So if I miss an area and then it gets locked off, I got the items from it? Is that what you're telling me? That's nice. You are tall. Likewise. Whoa, look at the stone in the back. It's carved. That's so cool. I'm guessing my name is Sekiro. Or or what? Yes. What do you want? Oh. Oh. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm bad at the game still. Okay. Get fucked. Oh, I killed him. Um, I don't- what the fuck? You good? Oh. <laughs> do you have the- the blood? The blood of the dragon? Like me? Are you moldy underneath that mask? Yeah, it's terrible, I know. <laughs> and it seems you've died a lot. I'm looking at you and your skin is gray. I think you're a zombie, I'm realizing. Yeah. So you just am. Well, you see, I also died and didn't die at the same time. <laughs> yes. Oh, he's a test dummy. That's helpful. Yeah, that works. A warm body. That's a really gross way of saying it. Yes, I'll, I'll accept. Okay. Um, I don't really want to right now. Have you noticed? Seems pretty... fitting. Like a temple for misfits. Okay. I want to be done talking to this guy. He's boring. <laughs> but I know, I already read the, the, the tip. You don't need to tell me more. Is he done? Yes. Okay. Let's leave the zombie man. 
and let's go play some game. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm hoping there's no more NPCs to talk to. Don't get me wrong, I love a good NPC, but um, I want to I wanna forge forth. There's one more way to go over here, I think. The jump is so expressive in this game. Okay, which way should we be? What the hell? Hello? This is like me height. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. When we when we got when we put ourselves into this position. Okay, well, that'll be a shortcut or that'll be where the final boss is. It's one of those two. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> well, speak of the devil. The shinobi prosthetic grappling hook allows access to normally unreachable places and a chance to take high ground. Nearby grapple hooks are designated with a circular symbol. When this symbol turns green, the grappling hook is within reach. And that is L2. Okay, well we can't go across this bridge because the bridge is not a bridge, it is a hole. So we'll go here. L2? Whoa! Oh, I love that animation on the tree. How it like bows and all the snow falls off it. That was really nice. Whoops. I don't really like the fact that I have to jump and press a button to hold the ledge. I wish I would do it automatically. Is that another idol over there? What were they called? They were called Sculptor's Idols, right? Whoa, whoa! Gorgeous. So I guess this is like the beginning of the game. True and true at this point. Um, we've done the sort of beginning story beats and tutorial, and now we're in the thick of it. Oh, I love that animation so much. There's another broken bridge. I'm, I'm sensing Ashina has a bit of an infrastructure problem. <laughs> it seems they do not have a high enough budget for bridges. And as a New England resident, I can very much relate to that. <laughs> I didn't mean to touch this thing. Okay, save point. Hell yeah. Sculptor idol found. You can now instantly travel between- Oh, they're giving me free fast travel right off the bat. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, I still don't know what these prayer beads, memory, or attack power, or unseen aid, or what that little zero is, or where the money comes from, or what those little paper dolls are. Truly, I have no idea. Um, the grappling hook on R2 is slightly strange. I'll get used to it. Ungo's sugar. Ooh. Okay, a consumable that I will never use. Sounds good. There's a man. Come at me, bruh. It'd be cool if I could. Oh. Oh, you're stronger than the other ones have been. Acquiring enemy loot. Enemies drop loot such as items and money. Multiple enemies can be looted at once. Okay, so did I... How do I get his juice? He's got juice. He's got money. I see it. Ooh. Verticality. I love it. It looks like we might actually be able to, like, avoid a lot of the enemies in this area by uh, doing stealth stuff. Which is interesting for sure. Do I want to do that, though, is the real question, because it seems that I get... Can I do a jumping attack? Hell yeah, I can. Jesus. <laughs> so, once again, how do I... How do I get it? Am I dumb? Am I dumb and stupid? <laughs> Hello? Oh. I'm stupid, guys. <laughs> I think the tooltip... The, the tooltip did say that, but I'm just dumb and stupid, so... Whoops, I didn't press the right button. <laughs> Get fucked. So yeah, it seems like we can probably avoid enemies pretty easily, but... If they're gonna drop... Oh, I didn't see that attack coming at all. That was a lot of health it just took from me. Oh, there's a dog. That is never a good sign in these games. Okay, it died really easy, never mind. <laughs> oh, I died. Well... Turns out shadows die three times. How many times am I going to make that joke? Who knows? <laughs> oh. Oh? Is this the resurrection thing we heard about before? Oh, we can die or we can... Well, we might as well resurrect, right? It doesn't hurt us. Okay. Oh my gosh. Divine's blood... Divine Heir's Blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective power. Killing enemies restores additional charges. Oh. 
So if I kill this guy, like this, do I get it back? Doesn't seem like I did. But maybe I will. Hello. Fistful of Ash, we saw that. It is really going to give me the tooltip every time, huh? Ellet, we got, we know what that is. <laughs> okay. There's, a, there's another dog. Oh, there's another dog. Oh my god, the dogs are killing me. I was right. The dogs are to be avoided in these games. It's I can't like It's weird. I dodge the attack and then I'm still too far to hit them. I feel like I'm not being rewarded for my good dodges, but this is a game about parrying, so maybe that is to be expected. Yeah, I know what that is. Gimme give gimme give stop pressing the wrong button. Consume what did it say? Did it say consume sculpture idol? Or com oh, it said commune, probably. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go up here. Loot. Loot. Oh, that's the guy that took Ashina, uh, not Ashina, Kuro away. Isn't it? I think that's the guy that took him away. Why is, what is he doing here? Shuriken wheel, a mechanical device made by mechanic genius Dogen can be fit into the shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Oh, we got our first tool. While it is palm-sized, a surprising number of shuriken can fit into the shuriken wheel as the edges were designed for stacking. The fine example of what can be achieved when one matches mechanical finesse with a shinobi's talent. All of these like mechanical inventions were invented by a guy named Dogen. Um, how much do you want to bet the sculptor is Dogen, who's like been who's like found, like, you know, he's like a recluse now or whatever. That's my guess. Shinobi tools can be used on their own by giving them to the sculptor. They can be fitted. Oh, they can't be used on their own, but they can be fitted into the thing by the sculptor. Uh, yeah, we can travel via sculptor's idol. Cool. Does that replace the, the, whatever this thing is, the grappling hook, or can I have both? Because I can, like, do this. Um, there's two buttons. <laughs> that I can use my arm with. Ooh, that looks like a big guy. Let's go. Huh? You're an enemy? You're a chicken. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? Well, I never said I was a vegan. What the hell was that? <laughs> I just killed the chicken. Sorry. Is that where we were before? Yes, okay. I wanna go back to this place, please. And I want to rest to get my... I forgot, I did. I, I can't just sit. I have to rest. And then I want to travel back to important places. Is that, oh, there we go. Okay, they're in categories. I want to go back to important places. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be calling the temple from now on. And we can test out this new shuriken thing. Hello, Dogen. I mean, Sculptor. That's my running theory. I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. You did. It was really cool. Okay. Okay. I'd like that ranged option. That one sounds good. Is that what this is? Okay, put it on. Yeah, because he's Dogen. He made it. I'm telling you. Oh. Thank you. Present Shinobi prosthetic. Fit new prosthetic. Uh, regular Shinobi tools found in the world can be specifically adapted to this with the fit prosthetics menu. Cool. Loaded shuriken. Yes. Okay. Looks like I need to use triangle. Oh no. Shuriken throw is R2. Yeah, that's... Oh no, that is the um the one that we use. A shuriken wheel prosthetic tool, uh, pull a shuriken loaded into the wheel and launch it at a target in a single... What? 
Target in a single flowing motion, the swiftly thrown shuriken damages enemy vitality and posture, particularly against those with a tendency to take the air. It costs spirit emblems to use. I don't know what that is. Um, that one? I won't. I really had no interest in doing that. Prosthetic tools. Uh, they can, you can use, using them consume spirit emblems. I don't know what those are. Oh, is it the thing in the, oh, those are the little, oh, we magically gained one. Here we go, now we're learning. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools and are consumed each time these abilities are used. Can be obtained from defeating enemies in the world and purchased from sculptor's idols. If you pass near them, they will find their way to you. I, um, so did we lose? Yeah, we don't have the grappling hook anymore. Um, if we go over here. Oh no, we still do. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go back. Do not need to worry about it anymore. <laughs> uh, purchase spirit emblems with what? Money. Okay, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Ashina outskirts the the gate path, please. Ashina outskirts. Okay. I was kind of hoping that uh, this first episode would continue until the first boss, but it's already been an hour and 10 minutes, so we will see. Perilous attacks. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks signified with a danger symbol. What the fuck? I have no idea what that means. I guess we'll see. So they're gonna do a big attack sometimes and we gotta dodge, basically. Jesus. I pressed the wrong button again. I keep doing that. I keep wanting to press square to attack. I'll have to get used to it. Howie. I almost died. I died. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> this isn't even a boss. Oh my god, this guy has so much posture. You're so posturous. What did that do? Okay, go away. We're hurt. We're hurt. Heal. Thank you. Oh, that was a that was a special move. I am stupid. I died. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So that guy had a lot of posture, and I guess loss upon death experience toward the next skill point and current sen in hand are halved upon death. Everything lost is gone for good. There are no known means to escape this loss. However, through the grace of the gods or Buddha, it may not be impossible. What? I don't really get what that was about. Um, so we lose experience and we don't have to gain it back after we die, I guess. So it's not like Dark Souls style. Um, I keep getting this like thing. I think we can do a jump attack if we jump up here. Whoops. Get me back up. Beam me up, boss. Okay. And now can we... Oh, I forgot. I didn't press the button. Oh. I, that was not exactly what I wanted to do just then. Owie. I would like to hurt him a single time. Okay, this is not working. I think that's a sweep, so I have to jump it or some shit. It's really weird. Alar? I didn't do it correctly. I don't know what he's doing when he's going like Super Saiyan like that. Okay, he's doing stuff. Oh, I have to, I have to be so aggressive because the bar goes down. The bar goes down. I didn't jump. The bar goes down. I have to keep hitting and deflecting and stuff. Okay. 
I think I'm sort of getting a little bit of what I was missing before. Come out here. I don't want to fight you in that building. Howie. I'm really close to death. I died. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, back into the fray. Yeah, so I have to just keep hitting and then dodge when they hit me, as opposed to waiting for, for hits. Okay. Okay, we gotta be so careful because we are about to die. Is this it? Did we kill him? Okay. Prayer bead. A loose prayer bead. Offering four elemental sculptors idol will, in will increase maximum vitality and posture. Oh, that's really good. Gourd seed. Hell yes, dude. Okay, so that was a really phenomenal early game fight because it totally taught me um, to correct a uh, misconception I had about the game. This is an extremely, extremely aggressive gameplay style. Like, super aggressive. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, that posture bar, you're working to fill it up, obviously, but it goes down if you don't attack or deflect, um, you know, quickly. So you have to just keep wailing on enemies, and then you have to weave and deflect only as they... Um, as they attack, um, which is crazy. Um, enhanced physical attributes option has been unlocked in the sculptor's idol menu. Here you can spend four prayer beads and create a prayer necklace, which will permanently increase. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So I had a. a I really did not understand that aspect of the um, combat, but once I figured that out, that fight was a lot easier because I knew that I was being encouraged to just keep wailing, <laughs> basically, to keep going for it. Take my seed. Don't... I shouldn't have said that that way. <laughs> Whoops. No. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I did die a couple times, actually. Yep. Good old Kuro, that boy, always playing his little death-defying pranks. That is true. That did happen to me. Yeah. Strange is one way of putting it. <laughs> I will. I want you to upgrade my gourd, though. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yes, yes. Please take my gourd seed. Yes, it is. We got a tool to about it, remember, dude? I definitely did that. You can tell from all the animation I did. Sweet. Is that just strange medicine? It is. <laughs> Drink from my gourd. Oh! Oh, your mentor is Dogen? Is he that guy? <laughs> if only they would shift their gaze even just a few degrees, they would reunite. Okay, bye Emma. I still don't know why your name is Emma. <laughs> are you Japanese or are you white? Tell me, please. Anyway, um, okay, I guess we're going to continue to... Wherever we're going next, baby. Okay, down there is where we fought the big dude who gave us his seed. And now we are going to continue, I suppose. <laughs> um, so yeah, it really does feel like I have to be making this conscious choice 
about whether I'm going to fight or I'm going to just stealth my way. Oh my god, I didn't even see you here, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it must be done. It was your own fault for not hearing a man grapple onto your building. Because <laughs> um, I'm assuming the money is going to be good for multiple things, as money typically is in video games. That man has a gun. That man has a gun? <laughs> a gun? There's also a... That looks like an NPC. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. There's too many of you. There's too I can't do that. I only have one sword. I can only... <laughs> I can only deflect one thing at a time. Also, probably would be helpful. I would Yeah, that's not... That's just not gonna be the way that it goes. What the hell does that mean? Unseen aid? <gasps> what? Half of a skill, experience, and scent are lost upon death, but there is a way to avoid this on rare occasions. The chances of receiving unseen aid can be seen in the pause menu. And how do I increase that? Because <laughs> I would like to. It occurs to me that Emma told us that using the resurrection mechanic could have some negative consequences. And as such, I'm probably going to try and avoid it. At least a little bit. Someone's mad at me. Um, that guy is mad at me. I'm gonna try and avoid it probably um, when I'm not like fighting a boss or a big enemy that might like really, you know, where that's gonna be like necessary. What the hell did I just do? Okay. Well, see what I was doing there is I was just attacking and I was not deflecting. That's sort of not what I should be doing in this game. No, there's two of you. I don't want to do two of you. Um, not at all, actually. That seems really not fun. So can I- whoa! Gunman gunned me down. For real, for real. We have two gourds. Okay, so it's not- we didn't increase the amount it heals, we increased the uses of it. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't- What is that? What is it? Who are you? Where are you going? Okay, they do not like me. Stop. I cannot believe you're throwing rocks at me, dude. How, pray tell, do I get away from this? Genuinely. Like, can I... I would like to go... There, for, for instance. I am in the grass. Will you leave me alone? What the hell is happening? Um, the game is... Oh, oh, oh my god! Didn't know this was a fucking horror game, dude. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Oh, that's a, that's a ledge. It's a cliff. We don't want to be going over there. Jump. Jump. I fell off it. I'm, I'm jumping off of many things. I don't, I don't get how I can fight multiple people at a time right now, so I'm trying to just avoid that. Huh. Oh, I jumped into a cliff. Okay, this time we are going to do the area without attracting the attention of 16 different people. All at once. <laughs> and it's going to be great. I also want to fight that, that big boy with the hammer. And I want to go see that NPC. So I think, if I were to guess... How do I do that? There we go. If I were to guess, the sort of intended way of... That man has a gun. You're here, and now you're not here because you're dead. Okay. There's more of you. I want you to die. Oh my god. Stop. Please just die. There's, I'm sure that there's more people coming. I shouldn't be doing it this. <laughs> this is bad gameplay. This is not how to play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Why won't he die? Why won't his poise stop? He's running away when his poise gets high. And I don't know what to do about it. He's, he's against a wall. I have to be able to break his poise now, right? Holy shit. That is not the way to play Sekiro. That's the big boys over there. Uh, die. Okay, 
That was not how to play the game. Okay, let's vacuum everything up. That was a lot of coins we just got. Okay. The guy with the gun has to go. <laughs> Frankly, he simply has to go. That's not... The existence of guns in Fantasy Japan makes me worried for future enemies because it does not seem fun. Okay. Where's the big boy? That, he's right there. There's more... I can hear someone else with a gun. Is it ease? That doesn't... Okay, I think it needs to be stealth for us to get the drop, literally, on someone. Okay, Hammer Boy. I think it's just you and me to tango now. That is definitely an NPC, right? Can I talk to the NPC now, or do I need to finish the combat? Oh, I can. No. That's not me. My name is Sekiro. Um... Oh, I don't know. This is like a moral quandary. I don't think I'm your son. I'm sorry. Bromsoft really loves their bell ringing women, huh? I'll take a bell. Okay, I can barely hear you over this combat music. <laughs> Young Lord's Bell Charm, a bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. There's a uh, man here. Are you Inosuke? You're, um, worse for wear, bud. Yep. Hello. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. I'll, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back, dude. I'm sorry. I need to go fight this bud. This, this buddy. This big, this big boy. Seems like there's two enemies I'm trying to fight. Oh, there's some chickens down there. Okay, can I block that? It doesn't really seem like I- oh my god. I don't like fighting multiple enemies in this game. Yes, you. There's two of you. Of course there fucking is. I wish you would die. And I wish that of you as well. Okay, you're dead too. Let's go ahead and heal. And we'll try our hand at big boy. Oh man, okay. Oh shit, that is so damaging! This is not... This is not... The move. <laughs> I don't... I'm gonna resurrect. Because I already killed all the enemies. Oh! Oh, your face was not pleasant to look at. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Resurrection, I need to not be doing it as much because I'm, it feels like something bad is going to happen if I keep using it, but it's going to be so hard to kill all those enemies again, so... Hello. Let's continue our conversation from where we left off. Could it be who? Who do you think I am? <gasps> it is Inosuke! Oh no, your mom is just there, bud. That's so sad. I did. I did, yeah. She's right there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the impression I got. Mm -hmm. I did, yes. You're welcome. 
I'll offer it to Buddha, and you'll be, you'll be all good, bud. I'll do it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's still me. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, I know. Okay. Is that it? I'll come back here when I when I offer it, I guess. Is my best choice. Um Man, I was really hoping to fight like the first boss of the game in this episode. But it's really long and even if I did, it's going to take me like an hour to fight it, probably. Um, so we will... Oh, there's an item. Is there an item up there? Hello. Yes, there is. Give it to me. Litecoin purse. Uh, the scent in this purse is not lost upon death. Okay. Sure. Sure. I guess this is the next way to go. There is... A bunch of people there, though. Oh my god, dude. Okay, we can crouch up here. There's three of them. Looks like we can stealth our way, though. Up this way. Just seems smarter in some instances. That is... Do not tell me that that is a gun. <laughs> That last one was bad enough, but that is massive, dude. So can I stealth behind people like this? I do not want to come face to face with that. That is that is not a gun. It is a gun, isn't it? Or it's just a big stick that he's gonna hit me with. No, he has gunpowder on him. That is definitely a gun. Black grains forming the base of, for gunpowder, material used in alchemical prosthetic tool upgrades, including those of an explosive and occultic nature. Even the most mundane form of gunpowder has a wide variety of applications. Look at those mountains, dude. This place is so pretty. Okay, well, I would like a sculptor's idol. Maybe if there's going to be a boss soon. I'm just hoping there is. There's not a boss in the next, like, five minutes. I will stop the episode there, probably. Pilot. What is this big door? Is that the door we were at earlier? My sense of geography is terrible. Yeah, that's the door we were seeing that the other guys were guarding. I forgot to take his stuff. That is gonna... I am gonna forget to take enemies loot very often in this game. I'm just warning you now so you don't get too mad when it keeps happening. Um, is that a chicken? No. Oh, there's a sculptor's idol right there. Okay, nice. Uh, oh, I fell. What is this red stuff? Whoa, it's a ghost. Oh, that's Emma and Kuro. Interesting. Okay, interesting. So Emma was Kuro's doctor, I guess? She's a doctor, right? Interesting. More pellets. Okay. It's a temporary healing item, which I'm never super into using. Because I'm always like, well, there's a better place to use it later on. But who knows if that's true? <laughs> we'll rest. Okay. I don't think we need to go back to important place anytime soon. Um, who can eaves? Big bastard? That guy? Oh. So that's a big enemy, and we need to use fire against it? I can't do fire. I don't have, like, magic or... Oh, shit. 
<laughs> oh shit. We, you already said that. Why are you repeating yourself? Oh, that was... Probably had a little too much faith in my ability to do that. It's fine. Do I need to go free him and maybe he'll come and kill these two guys? But I'd rather deal with these two guys than him, you know? Ooh! I see a, um... A, 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 little, a little guy. Nice. Something is seeing me. Oh, it's that chicken. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we just got a sculptor's idol, so it's not too bad to... Come on. What was that about not getting injured right before the war? Okay. Let's see a man about an imprisoned monster. Oh, that's an enemy. Chained ogre. Oh shit, I should have wailed on him before you. Grab attacks cannot be deflected. There is no way to avoid taking serious damage once grabbed. But if one jumps or sprints away, they can be avoided. I can do that. <laughs> oh, I can grapple onto it, it seems. Oh. That was not what I was trying to do. I died. No, I didn't die. Um, Gord. Gord me up, Scotty. That is not working. <laughs> that is not working. I'm just gonna die. <laughs> it is not, uh, I was not feeling confident about that. So is this the first boss? Is that how boss is appear? Because in that case, we fought like three bosses already. <gasps> what is happening? What is happening? Was that another scripted death? What? We've done this before. <laughs> We've woken up under this mat before. I am. Is this the same cutscene from before? Did something happen? <laughs> Rot Essence Sculptor. Somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owning this item reduces one's chances of sick. What? Ra timid maid? Somewhere a painted cough rings out continuously. What? Why, what did I do to deserve that? Because I didn't resurrect myself? The more one, the, the more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies. The more of the sickness known as dragon rot spreads throughout the world. Dragon rot is not caused by resurrection. It has a chance to occur only when the wolf truly dies repeatedly. What? <laughs> what the? As if this game wasn't fucking hard enough. You're going to kill my allies the more I die? That's so fucking mean. The more rot essence wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> That is so mean. I mean, I doubt that they truly die. But, ugh, as if dying wasn't bad enough. No, it does lead eventually to death. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Not normal? What does that mean? What's up with you, bud? Oh, so you do know Emma's there. So Emma's definitely not... So he's definitely not Dogen then, or else he would recognize his student. I have. What's up? Power of Resurrection. 
Yeah, I would like to know. I agree, it must be stopped. I would like for it to be stopped. How do I do that? How do I look through your master's research? Okay. Thanks. Bye. Oh man, okay. So not only do we have to face a boss now, but every time we die to it, we're gonna kill our friends. <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. Do you think if I unleash the beast first, these two will help me fight it, maybe? Is that why they're here? His shit builds up so slow. I don't think I can block that, or if I can, I'm I'm just terrible at it. I'm terrible at blocking it. Is the only thing I can think of because truly I I don't know. Oh, I I wish I had seen that earlier. Oh, I died. For real, for real. I mean, I guess I'll resurrect. Not that I was like, oh my god. Okay, you're trying to fight me when there's a giant ogre to fight i really don't respect that i don't respect you as a person for that choice that hurt oh gourd gourd me up scotty oh is it did we there we go okay oh my gosh that was horrible i don't oh you grabbed me i'm gonna die okay this boss actually doesn't seem too bad um, I just definitely need- wait, I have another Resurrect? Probably shouldn't use it, because I don't think I'm gonna win, but... Can I please lock on? I... <laughs> well, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Those guys are dead, which means we can maybe get a little bit more of a fair fight with this guy. Just keep wailing on him. Seems like dodging is kind of the only way to do that. What is that? Oh yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, this just seems like a really dodgy fight. Um, not dodgy in that way, dodgy in terms of they really want you to dodge. Instead of, um, instead of parrying? Because I don't think I can parry these fights because it's not a weapon. The lock-on is- no, man. I, that does so much goddamn damage. Resurrect me, bitch. Oh my god. That is so much damage. <laughs> what was that, dude? That was awesome. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay, well. I still think it's possible. Oh, we actually managed to still get unseen aid. <laughs> Didn't it say we had to use fire against this guy? Am I missing something stupid? Am I being stupid? What does that do? Does it just... I wish I had not done that. Ugh. Should I be using my thing more? I don't really know. Fuck! That attack is so quick, and it just kills me instantly. <laughs> Annoyed. And the fact that my lock on disappears when I resurrect. No, see, I just. That one is so fast. It's so fast. Just start the fight by wailing on him. And then I want to try something. I want to get him down on these steps. Because there's fire here, but I don't know what that like actually means. <laughs> I don't know what that is going to do to him. What? How did he grab me? Are you joking? He threw me a second time. 
really far. <laughs> Are you joking? Ugh. That grab attack is just, like, instant death. I keep pressing the wrong button. Ugh! <laughs> you must score a goal! I would not like to fight you in this corner, please. I was having more luck with him upstairs at the top of it. What does that do? Should I be doing it more? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Are you... I just... I just really feel like that wasn't deserved. <laughs> oh, and he just threw me off the cliff. <laughs> uh, how... I dodged that. I literally... You literally saw me dodge that, dude. <laughs> okay, that time was my fault because I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing a little item all the way down there. I kind of want to go see if I can grab it. Just taking a break from the fight for a second. <laughs> I really feel like I am missing something because the obviousness of... Can I make that jump? I'm scared to. The obviousness of... What the fuck was that? <laughs> oh. It, it brought me back so kindly. Yes, I would like to go here, and then I would like to go there. And then I would like to jump to here. The obviousness of that statement... Is that... Is that cloth? Because it looks like snake skin. If this game has a... Or maybe it's like dragon skin? Scrap iron. Iron dregs mined in Ashina, widely used for base basic reinforcement. It can serve as a base material for prosthetic tool upgrades. Ashina is buried with thick snow and infertile land, but the scrap iron dug from her soil is anything but crude. Um, yeah, that looked like the snake of a giant, uh, the skin of a giant snake. <laughs> um, hopefully, it is not <laughs> that. Um, but we'll see. Um, what I was saying before was the obviousness of that statement of by the two guys about um, the fact that you should be using fire against the dude makes me really worry that I'm missing something. Um, like I'm missing some sort of like flamethrower or a way of affecting the environment to get those torches around him to do something. I am also, I'm going to be completely honest, confused slightly by the nature of the fight. Um, oh, hello. God, I missed a lot. Because it really doesn't seem like a fight in which deflecting is a thing that you want to be doing. Um, Gachin Sugar, the high senpao priest, gave this candy to a band of short but adept assassins. It suppresses sound and presence for a time, making the user harder to detect. Bite the candy and take the Gachin stance to impart its inhuman benediction. The assassins do Senpo's dirty work. Once hired guards, now extensions of the monks will in their quest for undeath. Um, yeah, something, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, oh my god, you can't jump on those. What the fuck? Oh look, Emma and the guy are here. Oh god damn it. Oh no. しかし、これだけでは定かには。できることはあるか。流害にかかったものが入った血の塊。それが。Okay. I can try that. Okay. <laughs> hey bud, I have this bell. 
Yep, I am. Uh, talk? <laughs> Oh, well, that's good to know. But just instead suffer the whole time. <laughs> I can't seem to ask them about the bell that we got. Um, maybe they need to be in their regular positions. If I rest, they'll go back. Hello. We did do that. We did see that. For sure, for sure. That is what I want to know as well. Oh yeah, we did know that. Oof. Ask a man about a bell. I want to ask you about a bell. I still can't. Okay, well, I don't know what to do then. I was thinking maybe I'd get like a reward for that quest line that, um... That was a bell, <laughs> or sorry, that was some sort of fire weapon, but doesn't seem like it. I wonder if I can like... No, I was so close. I was in such a good rhythm there. Ugh. I wonder if there's a way of sneaking up on this guy. Because he does give me the like, the symbol above his head that he's like seeing me and that's when he starts trying to break free. So I wonder if I can get around him and maybe do a, a, a jump attack on him. That would be nice. <laughs> That'd be very convenient. <laughs> if nothing else. Um, but I don't know like where I would get to him from. There's an item up there. Um, because I can't get up there, it looks like. And I have no idea how to approach him in any other way, from any other angle. Is there a way, like, over here to get under and around? Not at all, it seems. Not at all. <laughs> um... So how do I, ugh, how do I do this? Is it really just like straight up what I was doing earlier? Okay, he didn't like that. Okay. Where, where are you? Where'd you come from? Who's that man? Give me this item. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. A Mibu Balloon filled with a fountain head of water imbued with a blessing of wealth. If one pops the golden Mibu Balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will acquire more coin for a period of time. Uh, Mibu means aquatic life and life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountain head of water itself a worthy worship. Uh, okay. What's over here? Oh, there might act. No, there's no way of getting up there, right? Doesn't, oh, you can get down here, though. That's interesting. Get fucked. Oh, you also can get down here. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> good to know, I guess. Can I drop attack him if I'm up here? Stop seeing me. Whoa. Parkour king? I don't think this is gonna work. Um, look at that fog gate. I haven't seen that. Um, yeah, I don't think I can drop attack enemies when they see me, is sort of the issue here. I guess we'll just try and fight him for real, for real. is can I just get his health down or do I have to block his poise twice? 
You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I managed to sneak attack him. What the hell? Okay. Is that gonna do anything for me? I also learned how to do that. What you gonna do now, bud? Okay. Oops. That was the wrong... I meant to dodge. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. No! Please don't! Please don't kill me! Fuck! <laughs> so freaking annoying, dude, this boss. Is that it? Oh, you're just gonna kill me? Uh. Oh yay, I've died enough to infect yet another NPC. I love that. Did he- Ugh! He got me. God damn it. Don't throw me off the- Ugh! Okay, everybody, it's Editing Shio here, because guess what? I was not talking at all during this point of the fight. <laughs> I was just completely locked in. So here I am to give you commentary on this wonderful fight. As you can see, I just did the sneak attack and then I just avoided that attack. Look at me. Oh my gosh, look, I am grappling. I dodged that one. Truly masterful gamemanship going on here. Avoided that one, avoided that one. We avoided that slam. That was close though. That was close. That was a little that was a little close for comfort. That one I love that attack. It's so funny, dude. It's so funny. It's like a, a freaking a wrestling move, but in Zekiro. It's great. It's great. The kick? Not today. Not today. Cue that BTS song. Uh see, no kicks. No kicks happening at all. Yet. Yet. <laughs> that dodge attack, or that dodge of that attack. Look at me go. I was getting caught by that all the damn time before, remember? No, because probably I, I cut a lot of it because I did I spent like an hour and 15 minutes on this boss. But look, avoiding all these attacks, avoiding, avoided. Wow, look at that. As you can see, I'm, I'm dodging, oh, I got hit. See, that's how I got kicked. But as you can see, my strategy is dodge, hit twice, dodge out. That's, that's the grind. You just keep doing that. See, dodge, two hits, dodge out. Dodge, okay, I didn't dodge that one. That was a bad example. Dodge, okay, that one was really close. Two hits, dodge out. Dodge, two hits, dodge out. Okay, that one, I got greedy. I shouldn't have done that. And I'm, I'm disproving my own point. Dodge, two hits, dodge out. You get the point? You get the point? It's pretty, pretty flawless. I call it the Shio method. Um, you all owe me $10 if you try it on your next Sekiro run. Got it? Um, anyway, that was about it from me, uh, editor Shio. Um, it's like 12 p.m. here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! Oh my god! Oh my god! Did I do it? Was that it? Oh my god. Fucking... Chained fucking ogre motherfucking asshole. <laughs> oh my god. Shinobi medicine. I don't know why the fuck are you- I want to celebrate. I don't want to read. A latent skill that increases the healing effect of recovery items. Medicinal knowledge is vital for Shinobi's survival. Receiving wounds in battle is inevitable. The only way to learn such techniques is to be gravely injured time and time again by worthy opponents. Is that basically a you suck? Here's a medal. Oh my fucking god, dude. Holy shit. That took me about an hour, give or take. Considering that's like the first major boss in the game, that's pretty significant. Um, Jesus. <laughs> For context, the first boss in, for example, Bloodborne, I got my first try, Cleric Beast. And the first boss in Dark Souls did not take me that long. The first boss in Elden Ring did not take me very long. That was crazy. I think the thing that really threw me is that that is not a parrying boss. That is literally a boss that you have to be super careful about. I was literally going in, getting a hit or two, and then dodging out. 
The trick is to just literally dodge away from everything, don't even try and parry, and to jump away, like jump backwards away from the grabs. After that it was literally just like figuring out when I could hit and when I should keep backing away. Holy crap, that was really really intense. There was no need for that boss to be so difficult. Figuring out that I could run away and stealth half of its health down to was very nice. <laughs> Very, very nice. Needless to say, that's going to be the end of this episode. This game is fun. It's gorgeous, and it's fun. And if the bosses are going to be that hard, then I am going to lose my mind. <laughs> but we will see. There is only one way to tell, and that is to continue going. If you made it this far, and if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please leave a like and a comment. That is how I will know to make more and to continue the series. Um, this is going to be a very long series, so if I start, like, you know getting kind of burnt out, those comments and those likes really motivate me, especially your guys' kind words and your tips and stuff, really motivate me to keep making more and more. I have a ton of other Let's Play content on the channel for games like Stray and Undertale and stuff like that, so please check those out if you are interested, and if not, I will see you in the next video, either of Sekiro or of something else, whatever you are interested in. But for now, that is all for me. I will see you all next time. Later!